The ODM party is in total panic. This follows the realization that Mariga could wrestle the Kibra seat from him. Why are we of this opinion? This is informed by what has transpired in the last few weeks. On 30 September, ODM MPs issued a statement titled, Ruto looking for war in Kibra. Here are extracts from that statement. William Ruto's race for Kibra seat started with him imposing a candidate on Jubilee Party and on the people of Kibra in the name of MacDonald Mariga. Mariga does not vote in Kibra. Mariga does not live in Kibra. Mariga has never done anything for Kibra people. Mariga has never worked with Kibra people whether in politics or general matters of welfare and development. The pattern of events, the impunity by Ruto and the insults he is embarking on indicate just one thing, it is not elections Ruto wants in Kibra. Ruto is forcing the people of Kibra to vote for a man who will not vote for himself. We warn Ruto that Kibra is different. The voters here are dignified, united and principled. When they are pushed to the wall and insulted as Ruto is doing, they will respond and Ruto may just get the trouble he is looking for. He will then have himself to blame for returning the country to chaos. That last statement is very critical and will help us to understand why we believe ODM is in panic mode. The following day, ODM held a parliamentary group meeting chaired by the party leader Rayla Odinga. This was to help mobilize all ODM MPs to camp in Kibra to campaign for Imran Okath. Two days later, they held a fundraising to support the campaign where every ODM MP was to give 50,000 shillings as their contribution. This two functions are of great importance in adding to our theory. Why? You may be asking. Well, we have all along been made to believe that Kibra is Baba's bedroom and ODM stronghold. Why then would ODM need to mobilize and even raise funds if they are sure of a win? This is not the ODM we know. Fundraisers are only held in ODM for the presidential elections. Rayla, in the fundraiser stated that he will not go to campaign in Kibra but was leaving the MPs to do it. This is very much unlike Rayla Odinga. Was he avoiding the campaign for fear of backlash from his followers if ODM lost the seat? We believe that to be the reason since it would portray him as one who is not in full control of his stronghold. A few days later, ODM came out again claiming that IEBC wanted to rig the Kibra election in favor of Mariga. At a meeting with IEBC, Embakasi East MP Babu Oino is heard threatening the chairman with dire consequences if ODM loses. The question here is, what makes Babu think that ODM must win? Why would he threaten the IEBC chairman on camera? This is the ODM modus operandi that we know. Threats and intimidation are the ODM hallmarks. From that time, things have taken an ugly turn in the Kibra campaigns. On Saturday, Mariga's campaign team was attacked by goons who are believed to be ODM supporters. Although ODM vehemently denied it, accusing fingers were pointed at Dagoretti North MP Simba Arati and Sunna East MP Junet Mohammed. On Sunday ODM held a campaign rally at the DC grounds in Kibra and it is here that they incited the residents publicly. Listen to this two clips by Junet Mohammed and Irshad Sumra. If you are a keen observer... Hey, hey, stop 
Nimesikia je ujumbe mwingine ya kwamba kuna mti ya Ruto ambaye anaitwa Faruk Kibet. Kazi yake ni kutuletea pesa hapa usiku kila siku. Mimi naomba watu wa Kibera mkiona hao watu wachome hawa sasa. Na nimesema hadhara mchana. Kwa sababu sheria inasema ya kwamba vote bribery is a crime. Sina mna hiyo? TJ yuko hapa ambaye ni chief justice ambaye niapisha baba. Nimesema ongea na yeye. Mkiona mtu analawa pesa hapa weka tayari kwa kichwa. Weka tayari kwa kichwa. Mnakubali? Jambo la ya la ine. Lazima nifanye matangazo zile mna hiyo. Jambo la ine ni ya kwamba sisi ni watu ambao wanapenda habari. Sisi ni watu ambao Lakini tukuchokozwa kama vile nimeona jana hapa. Watu wanachoma gari yao wenyewe na wanasema ODM ndio wanafanya. Sasa waji, wajitiarishe kwa vita yenyewe. Sasa Wajitiarisha kwa vita? Mimi nataka kutangaza leo hapa kwa DC ground. Sisi tunajua Karen kwa nyumba ya Ruto ni nyumba ya serika? Ni nyumba ambayo imejengewa DPT pre? DPT presence ni namna hiyo? Tunatoa notice kuanzia leo. Tukiona pesa yote inagawuliwa kwa hiyo nyumba, sisi tutavamia hiyo nyumba na tutachoma kama nyumba ya wananchi. tutashinda hii uchaguzi. Hapa ni ngome ya OD. Sasa lakini tunataka IBC wafanye hii uchaguzi kwa njia ya transparency namna hiyo. Wiki hii tunataka Chebukati aweke register hadhara. Kila mtu aone jina yake wa Na tena tunataka majina ya presiding officers na clerks na returning officer tunataka kuchunguza ni nani hawa. Nimesikia kuna presiding officer na clerks zingine wanatolewa kericho Mimi nataka kuambia kachabukati ya mwisho. Chabukati ukicheza na sisi na hii uchaguzi utakuja kugundua kwa nini Isa Kasa alitolewa kwa kazi. Ni watu wa Kibra ndio walitoa watu wa Isa Kasa kwa kazi. Sisi ndio mtoe. Sisi mtoe. Kama chabukati yako na makende mbili wacha cheze na uchaguzi wa Kibra. Bora cheze na watu hapa. Kwa kumalizia mimi nimesema asanteni sana. Hii tunataka suki ya uchaguzi mjitokeze kwa wengi. Kwa sababu hii ni ngome yetu. Sisi tunapima siasa ya Kenya na siasa huko Migori na hapa Kibra. Siasa ya Kibra ikienda chini ile ya Migori itaenda chini. Mtakubali hiyo? Mtakubali hiyo? Sasa nataka mjitokeze kwa wengi ili tupige kura kwa wengi na siku hiyo tutaweka hapa Kibra kama na flying zone. Hakuna mtu anaturuhusia kutembea. Mtu hodi ya peke yake. Sasa Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki.
ndani na hiyo kazi tuma ingia ndani kwa hiyo alitoka na mkitaka tambuu mkitaka tambaku mkitaka bangi tuma utawaletea nyinyi zote Bolino Bolino si kwa kura jameni Sisi tutakuja hapo pale mtu ananunua kura haki ya Mungu tutawatandika na mimi kama ilikuwa tutawatandika hakuna haja of Kenyan politics, then you understand why we have come to the conclusion that Mariga is winning in Kibra. For those who may not be in the know, we share with you our analogy of an ODM win vis a vis an ODM loss. Since its formation, ODM is known for its reaction to losses rather than wins. If you look at all elections since 2013 that ODM has participated in, you will see a common denominator. When they are winning any election, they are very silent. In fact such a win will pass unnoticed. However, in any election that they are losing, claims of rigging will always surface. This they do so as to try and win sympathy from their followers. Take Kibra for an example. The utterances made in that Sunday rally are incitement in every sense of the word. On this, they are known to use two strategies. The first being that the leaders who made this inciting statements, want the government agencies concerned to arrest them. That way they will be able to tell the Kibra people that Ruto and by extension Mariga are using the government to intimidate them. This would also help them sell the narrative that the by-election will not be free and fair since Ruto will interfere. This is the script they have always used so that their followers feel short-changed thus leading to protests. It is what we call the victim mentality. We believe this time round, it will not work. Majority of the Kibra electorate have seen the light. Only a few goons are buying into this. The second is to hire goons to make sure that the Mariga campaigns are always disrupted. The objective being to make sure that there is no Mariga presence in Kibra. Both of these are what Larkin Rose describes as, the art of using euphemisms, lies, emotionalism and fear-mongering to dupe average people into accepting or even demanding their own enslavement. For the first time in over 20 years, Kibra voters have a chance to be heard through the ballot. Over that period, Kibra has been lagging behind in terms of development. The late Ken Okath had tried to uplift the lives of Kibra residents through the NGCDF projects but was getting a lot of resistance from the leadership of ODM. This is due to the fact that if he was able to change lives in Kibra, it would open the eyes of the electorate who are largely Rayla followers to the realization that Rayla had done nothing for that constituency during his many years as the MP. Right now the residents are able to access the trappings of power through Mariga. The fact that they can have a sitting with the country's deputy president, to air their grievances has elicited excitement. They are also seeing money being used for campaigns, something they have not seen in over 20 years. Quoting Francis Bacon, In order for the light to shine so brightly, the darkness must be present. That is exactly what is happening in Kibra. The blind has seen, so it is not business as usual. The only option left for ODM is to swallow their pride and use persuasion as their means of campaign. Failure to do this, will lead to them losing the Kibra seat. They should borrow a leaf from ANC candidate Elliot Awalo who has perfected the art of persuasion and silent campaigns. ODM needs to realize that leadership is a matter of having people look at you and gain confidence. Threats and intimidation will get them nowhere since they are up against the best strategist and tactician. This is none other than William Ruto. The Mariga campaign team has been able to knock doors, mobilize, and build a relationship with voters long before election day. That is the key to winning an election.
As of now Mariga has the upper hand in Kibra. Our message to ODM is simple, you can fool all the people some of the time, and some of the people all the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. Simply put, ODM is losing Kibra. The writing is on the wall. Here is some advice from Dwight Eisenhower, I would rather try to persuade a man to go along, because once I have persuaded him, he will stick. If I scare him, he will stay just as long as he is scared, and then he is gone. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like and share this channel. Hit the bell button to get notified when we release new videos.